Hey, I'm glad you're here for another video. I just finished recovering this 1.5 terabyte green drive. It had a broken connector. Um, the client said he was plugging the drive in and uh, I guess his finger slipped or something and broke the connector off. Well, I think it was more than a finger slip to be honest, but uh, uh, luckily we do have lots of these, uh, these boards here in stock. We have boxes full of boards. Um, so I had this board here. We just simply swapped the ROM and the drive worked again. The drive had some corruption at the end, but um, no bad sectors. It just finished imaging now, so uh, I'm just running our studio now to finish the recovery over. Uh, but yeah, so just to note, these 1.5 terabyte green drives are absolutely horrible. I Back in 2010, I bought six of them uh, and they all died within a year. So it's amazing that the client still has a green drive uh, for that long. This drive is from 2011. 2011! And it still works until he broke the connector and corrupted the data. I think uh, I'm, uh, he was taking the drive out because of the uh, corruption. So anyways, um, so that's it. So that's done. I'm just uh, finishing it over. So let's see how this whole procedure went down. Okay, there. We're here with the drive. Um, so let's go have a look at it. Yeah, these pins are... Um, pretty badly ripped out so there's a few options uh, option one would be to replace this connector now yes it can be done if we don't have a donor board then yes swapping the connector is an option but if you actually look here on this drive um, there are multiple pins on both sides so there's pins pins here and then pins here and it's a big piece of plastic so i mean if i really had, to, had no donor board then i would definitely go and replace the, the connector but since i do have a donor board probably in my stack i'm gonna go look for it um so what we have to match is we have to match this number right here so the revision and this number here and, and 004 at the end too. All that has to be matched. It can be a different board. I mean, it can be, but uh, I've never tried using a different one. I always try to match this exactly. So uh, let's go and uh, find a donor. So I'm back here. I got the board. Here's the board, and it's gonna be an exact match. Color is a little bit different, but that's not a big deal. So 771698004 Rev A. Uh, this is the matching board. So this is a fairly straightforward job. Um, we have to swap the board, and in this particular case, this board's got a ROM. The ROM is right there. The ROM is right there. Um, so this, the ROM is the eight-legged uh, tiny IC. It uh, usually starts with 25. Um, it holds uh, information for this particular drive adaptive. So uh, the drive will not work if uh, we were not to swap the ROM. It's gonna click. So let's um, remove this board and get it prepped for swap and I honestly hope that uh, this drive doesn't have bad sector issues too because it's quite possible these drives do end up with bad sectors so the board is off you can put the drive aside for now so this is the original board let's get a good shot here okay So there's the ROM there. Let's get it removed. I'm gonna use my expired flux. Because for jobs like this, I don't really care to use any other stuff. Actually, before I do that, let me get the, um, the donor board. 
and that um, ROM off so we can prep the donor board to accept the swap. Put a lot of flux on this chip here. Here's some more for good measure. Yeah, it's totally unnecessary. I'm just being, uh, trying to be funny. Putting lots of flux. So, let's, um, let's get the hot air station here. Get the temperature here. Let's get it at 50. 50 should be good. Get some tweezers. So, which way am I gonna come here with heat? I think this way would be good. So I can grab it, okay. So there's the uh, chip. Let's grab, grab our hot air and start removing this one. We don't need this one. On the, uh, this thing here, when inhaling any of this stuff. I also don't want to knock over my audio recording. Alright, let's get this thing removed. There's the ROM. Okay, the pads are nice. So we put our donor aside. And let's bring this guy in here. So now, we don't care about this ROM. This ROM can go over here. We don't need it. That's the ROM from the... Um, Donor board. What we need is oh, what the hell is this thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering what this board is doing here. This is um, this is another board. I'm gonna show you this board. This is a different board altogether, and as you see, this board does not have a ROM. There's no ROM on this board. Okay, so let's remove our good ROM now. I'm not using too much heat on here, I'm just using a little bit. These drums are pretty good at handling heat, but uh, we don't want to make it worse than by killing the ROM, and then we're gonna have a problem with the case. Okay, the ROM is off. The board is pretty damn hot. So, this is our bad board, it's really hot. Let's prepare our. I'm just putting a bit more flux here. Not too much is necessary. But let's heat up these pads and drop the ROM in. I probably should have put some uh, solder on here. Let free solder, but that's okay. I see this is melting pretty good. I might have used this board previously for so far case maybe. Maybe I use uh I use uh, sawing iron just to um, make sure these legs are well connected. Oh, this board is hot. That seems alright. Make sure there's a good connection. Okay.
so that is swapped and if everything went well this drive should work right away unless this board is bad and I didn't check it <laughs> then I have to find another one okay the board is back on and we'll get the screws here Okay, that's it here done. Uh, let's go over to our PC3000 and see if it works. Okay, so as you saw, the drive was plugged in, and now we're gonna launch uh, PC3000 Portable, and we're gonna see how it works. So, uh, we're gonna image to port number one. So first we're gonna see if the drive is working before we do any imaging. So let's uh, power on port zero. I can hear the drive spinning right now, so that's a good sign. Just wait for it to initialize. Okay, the drive is ready. Let's auto detect this drive. I don't remember the exact uh, family for this. Oh, it's saddle. Okay, good to know. And now we're gonna go into uh, data extractor. I'm gonna start a new case. I'm gonna image the entire drive. I'm just gonna go go start imaging uh, the drive. I think the client was mentioning that he couldn't see the file system, so. We're just gonna image the entire drive to my destination drive, and then from that point, um, we're gonna put it through our studio or something and see what we can recover. Okay, so the UK is gonna call it one terabyte green and some stuff. I don't remember the case number for this now. So, source we got SATA 0, destination we have um, SATA 1. Okay. And for now, I'm not gonna build a head map unless I see some problems with the drive itself, but we're just gonna hit start and we're just gonna start imaging and see how it goes because the file system is damaged as the client was mentioning. So let's just see how it goes. Okay, the drive is here and let's hit start and see. That looks pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching another video. Uh, next week's video is going to be pretty big. Uh, I just finished filming it and recovering the data. Um, I made someone very, very, very happy and saved them tons of money. So, and I mean a lot of money. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, that video is coming out next week, next Monday. So I'm still sticking to that Monday schedule, like I promised. So every Monday, new video for now until I get tired of this. But I'm trying to keep the schedule for you, so at least... So at least some of you can enjoy these videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube BS. You know how I feel about all this crap. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh.